It's a pleasure to be here today. It is a pleasure to be here today. Um, the Youth Alliance for Leadership and Development in Africa, Yalda, uh, in collaboration with its partners at the African Continental Fruited Area uh, ASCA Secretariat, um, the African Export and Import Bank, Afrezim Bank, um, UNECA, United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, um, International Trade Center ITC, and of course, the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, is excited you know, to invite all youths who are nationals of African countries, as well as those in the diaspora to participate in the Yalda ASCFTA Youth Creative Competition on the topic, the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, what is in it for young Africans? The competition itself seeks to deepen Africa's youth understanding of the AFCFTA's instrument and how African youth can drive the AFCFTA agenda from their perspective. Also, by ensuring that youth are active participants in the popularization and raising awareness of the AFCFTA. The competition itself is in three parts. If you believe you have what it takes to make a difference and you can help educate fellow young people about the AFCFTA, Yada and his partners invite you to join our essay, infographic and animation competition. We are looking for content created by young people that will inform and educate others, other young people as themselves about the AFCFTA, and most importantly, about the tremendous benefits that young Africans stand to benefit from the AFCFTA. Um, thank you so much once again. I hand over to the ITC team to tell us a little bit about the eligibility and of course the assessment criteria for the competition. Thank you. I can see Tim, over to you. Thank you very much for the introduction, Chuck. So really happy to be here with you. Um, I see that we've already raised a few hands, but I think maybe we can do the um, presentation first and then we will um, answer the questions uh, you might have around uh, the competition. But uh, yeah, also warm welcome from, from ITC side. Uh, we're one partner of the AFCFTA creative competition um, and really excited to kind of read or yeah, see in the future your submissions. Um, I would just briefly clarify on the eligibility criteria and the jury. Um, so uh, as we're talking about a youth competition, uh, you should be between 18 and 35 years old uh, when you're submitting your, your application. Um, and then um, as it's focused on the AFCFTA, it's also very important that you're national of an African Union member state. Um, and to prove this for us, we would please ask you to submit um, a national ID as proof. Um, but there is kind of no restriction in terms of where you are residing, so either on the African continent or in the diaspora. But I mean, kind of apart from these um, more uh, yeah, height criteria, what's really important for us and also what we would like to see in your submission is that you're really passionate about uh, um, Africa's development and also that you show in your submissions a deeper understanding of the um, AFCFTA. And um, yeah, we would ask you to uh, please then also submit your different works until the end of September, until the 30th of uh, September at, uh, at midnight. But I mean, all of these criteria can also be found um, online. I think what's also mm -hmm. important for your submissions then is um, that we will jointly evaluate them together with Yalda and uh, the other partners, um, as Jax was saying. Um, and also the, the private sector. So you can be assured that um, yeah, there's a fair evaluation of what you have submitted. Um, and we already know the criteria kind of we are based our judging on. So I think it should be um, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, but most of all, um, I think what's gonna convince us is what you are uh, thinking about, what you're delivering, how you show um, that the AFCFTA is important to you. Thanks uh, for that. And uh, back again over to, to Yalda. Um, thank you so much, Julia, for that amazing um, uh, information on the eligibility criteria and how the 
submission to be assessed. I would like to call on Patrick, if he's, if he's on, to tell us a bit about the prizes for the competition. Patrick, over to you, please. I am indeed on, Jerks. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Please proceed. All right, wonderful. Uh, I'm sure everyone's excited to hear about the prizes, and uh, I will start from the third prize. The winner of the third prize will get 300 US dollars, as well as mentorship by staff at Yalda or one of the partner institutions, as well as the works published on websites and in publications of Yalda and its partners. In addition to the mentorship and the published works, the second prize winners will get $500. And the overall winner will get $1,000, the mentorship by staff at Yalda or other institutions, their work published on websites and in publications of Yalda and its partners, as well as the opportunities to present their submissions at Yalda or partner events. In addition to this, there will be personal time with the Alda or partner institutions, executive directors, presidents, or chairpersons, as well as interviews by partner media houses. Well, there will also be freelance contracts for winners of the graphic design slash animation competitions and or competition or communications work with the partner institutions. And for the essay category, there will be a short internship opportunity at one of the partners institutions that are the AFTFP secretariat or the UNDP for the winners of that, of that particular category. And all of these winners will be announced in November this year. So thank you very much. Back to you, Jokes. Thank you so much, Patrick. Um, just like Patrick rightly said, we have exciting prizes for the winners. So we, we call on everyone across the continent in as much as you, know, you meet the eligibility criteria, kindly send in your submission. Um, I would like to, to call on um, me to talk about um, the essay competition itself. What do we need to know or what do contestants need to know about um, the essay competition? Mia, if you are in, um, kindly let us know so that you know, we, can, we can take this. Thank you, Chooks. Hello, everyone. My name is Mia. I'm representing the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Uh, and I will be representing the requirements for the essay competition. Um, the additional requirement to the ones you have previously heard tonight is that you have to be an excellent writer. Uh, so if you like to uh, formulate yourselves in, the, in written language uh, and you feel like that this is something you are talented at, then we look forward to receiving your application. Um, the, the content requirements is that all essay submissions, they must answer the question. Okay. Yeah. African yeah. free trade area agreement. What is in it for young Africans? And it yeah. has, so all the, all the essay submissions has to answer this question. And the essay has to meet the following requirements. Uh, it does not have to be an academic essay, but more of a blog post. So feel free to explore other blogs and get inspired by other kind of styles of writing blogs. Um, it's important that you use the credible sources of information and that you remember to cite all the sources that you're using. That you're using. Uh, that said, it's very important also that the essay is uh, representing your original work. Uh, so you are the youth and we are very interested in learning more about your ideas and your thoughts about what the AFCFTA uh, can contribute to uh, work and life of young, uh, of young Africans. Um, so it must not contain prominent, uh, prominent copyrighted materials owned by others. We want to hear your own words. Uh, the essay has to be in between 1,500 words, words and a maximum of 2,000 words. And the essay should be submitted in the font of Arial, size 12. And lastly, it uh, must not be derogatory of any ethnic, racial, gender, religious, professional, age group, or the disabled. Um, now I'm, we'll move on to the selection criteria. Uh, the winning essays, they will be selected on a range of criteria, which range from whether the essay are meeting all the, the requirements, uh, the relevance of the topic of the competition, and the quality of the topic 
uh, and, the, and the essay. Um, we will also evaluate the essay from the accuracy and authenticity of information provided. So we will value your own analysis, thoughts and words. Uh, a key element in this will also be to contribute towards breaking down elements of the AFCFTA into simple and easy, under, uh, and easy content. Um, lastly, uh, we will also evaluate the essay on its ability to effectively communicate the AFCFTA to young people. So the audience you should be, you should be targeting is also youth. Um, you will enter the competition um, by submitting the essay latest on the 30th September um, at 23.59 uh, Central African time or 21.59 hours GMT. Thank you very much. Back to you, Chooks. Um, thank you so much, Mia, for that amazing uh, um, talk on the essay competition. Um, I would like to call Julia or Claire from ITC um, to take us through the infographics. Hello again. Uh, yeah, very happy to um, take you through the infographics. Um, sorry, like, um, I just like lost my script. Um, sorry about this. Uh, so yeah, as was already said, we have uh, three different um, kind of categories. And uh, one of the categories is the infographics. Um, so here, as you can imagine, it's very important uh, that you're an excellent um, graphic designer. Um, and uh, the overall requirement is that you answer to the question, uh, the AFCFTA, what's in it for young Africans? Um, and then kind of uh, submit three to five pages to us uh, where you answer this question, as I've said, like in a graphical manner, um, you should clearly please show uh, your sources um, and um, link to this is then also, of course, the, the ask that the design is your original work and not uh, copied from someone else. And similar to the essays, um, as previously mentioned, it should not be derogatory um, of any ethnic, racial, gender, religious, um, professional or age group. And um, the question is, how do we select the winners here? Um, so, of course, you need to meet all the um, prerequisites, all the content requirements. And then really the question is, how well do you respond um, to the topic of the competition? How well do you show um, your understanding of the AFCFTA? Um, and are you really able to break down um, the elements of the AFCFTA into visually appealing um, but also at the same time into a simple content. Um, and here we are giving you all the different ways of creativity. Um, please be authentic and yeah, as creative as possible. Um, and as I've said previously, also here, deadline is um, end of September. Looking forward to receiving your um, inputs there. End of September. Okay. Thank you so much, Julia, uh, for your talk on the infographics competition. Please, I encourage everyone, in as, once you join this call, kindly mute your microphone so that we can have a conducive uh, environment for our interaction. I would like to call Patrick from Afrizin Bank um, to give us a little insight on the animation part of the competition. Patrick, over to you, please. Thank you very much, Shooks. <clears throat> so for the animation entries, the requirement is pretty straightforward. You have to be an excellent animator. So if your content is top notch, you are definitely a qualifier. The content requirements, uh, all animation submissions must answer the question, the African continental free trade area, AFCFTA, what is in it for young Africans and meet these requirements. Use credible sources of information, cite your sources, and the animation must be your original work, so nothing from anybody else. It also must not contain prominent copyrighted material that's owned by others, and must not be derogatory of any ethnic, racial, gender, religious, professional, or age group or the disabled. The selection criteria will be as follows. 
based on meeting all the content requirements which I just stated, the relevance to the topic of the competition, the authenticity of the animation, the accuracy and authenticity of the information provided, and the contribution towards breaking down elements of the AFCFTA into visually appealing and simple content, as well as the ability to effectively communicate the AFCFTA to young people. So how to enter? Contestants must submit the animation by the latest 30th of September 2021 at midnight, essentially, CAT, or 10 o'clock PM GMT. Chokes, back to you. Thank you so much, Patrick. And talking about the information that the contestants need to submit to enter into the competition, first and foremost, we require the name of the contestant, the first name, and of course, the last name. Then we also require the age of the contestant, followed by the nationality of the contestants. Sometimes contestants, the contestant can, can live in another country, you know, we also expect that the contestant indicate and of course, and of course state the country of um, his own residence. Then we also require the contestant to fill in a valid email address and of course to verify the email address afterwards. It is also important that the contestant includes his or her phone number. And before that, uh, we should, he or she should also ensure that there is the international dialing code for the country. For instance, Uganda, Uganda's dialing code is plus 256. So it should be the international dialing code and of course the regular phone number. Contestants are also expected to include their national ID or of course their national passports. After which the contestant is expected to attach the essay or the submission the essay or the infographic submission in the essay, like we said, is in, is in, should be in the font, should be aerial. It should also be either a PDF version, PDF uh, document or a Word document. Meanwhile, uh, the infographics could be either JPEG or whichever version is preferable to the, the contestant in a readable uh, version. However, for those submitting the animation and, and animation entries, it is expected that their animation should be hosted on a, a, a platform, preferably either YouTube or other platform. And then the link, the link to the submission will now be embedded in, in the, in the uh, submission page. Also, contestants should know that before before finally submitting their entry, it is expected that they should accept the terms of the competition itself, which basically is the fact that Yalda and his partners can use the submission uh, for their publication even after the competition. Again, the link to the competition is yalda.org forward slash AFCFTA competition. So we are open to questions. If you have any question from at any member of the attendees, please, we are free to answer whatever question you might have in terms of the competition. Do we have any Hello, questions? Hello, Chooks. Please Chooks, go ahead. Chooks, uh, this is Christopher please. speaking. Uh, I'm on, wondering hold on, now. Please hold on, Christopher. Please kindly tell us your name and the country you're joining us from, please. It, this is uh, Christopher Alvin Mokaya from Nairobi, Kenya. So I'm the Yalda Deputy Regional Associate for East Africa. And I'm also serving in the branch engagement team. So I wonder, this uh, essay competition, uh, is it, um, is it gonna be an academic essay or is it gonna be some essay that is uh, more free to do uh, for young people to enjoy? Because if it's gonna be kind of academic essay with a lot of citations, I don't think then it will be breaking down the information to the language of young people. So could we have a clarification on that? 
Okay. Um, thank you so much, Chris, for that amazing question. The essay, the essay competition is targeted at a blog type entry, not necessarily with citations and the likes, but just like an essay that you could, you could submit to a blog. And it's a blog type essay, uh, of, 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 although even if it's a blog type essay, there's still the need to have certain form of references, not necessarily with the conventional referencing style, but of course, your information must be authentic. You don't just cite uh, figures from nowhere. You know, there should be references to the information you're putting in the blog type essay uh, submission. Mm. Do we have any other questions? All right, Christopher, thank I hope you. that answers your question. Yes, Chooks, it does. Thank you for the clarification. Thank you so much. Um, do we have any contribution from any of our partners in terms of the question Christopher just asked? Okay, if, if, if there are none, um, do we have any other questions? Um, I see some people are typing in the chat. Okay, let's see if we could take questions from the chat box. Okay, um, do you judge, uh, this is from, pa pardon me if I don't get your, the pronunciation of your name accurately, uh, Takuzwa Chitupa, it says, do you judge the essay and animation separately? And also will present be for animation and other for essay, or is it just combined? Um, I would like to direct this question to Patrick. Uh, Patrick, uh, from Appraising Bank, he spoke on the prizes. Patrick, please, could you kindly address this in terms of the prizes for the competition, essay, animation, and the infographics? Patrick, over to you, please. Sorry, it's just a blip in the network here. Can you run that question by me again? Okay, so the, the question borders on uh, the, the assessment and then of course the, the prizes for the essay and the animation. So the person wants to know if these prizes are separate or they are combined. All right, thank you for that, uh, Chooks. So there are three separate prizes, so they're not all lumped together. So there is going to be a third place prize, a second place prize, and then um, the first place prize. The third place prize will get that $300 as well as the mentorship and the publications of the works. The second prize will get $500, the mentorship as well as works published. Then the winner gets $1,000, the mentorship works published, as well as the extra opportunities to present submissions at the other events or partner events, as well as personal time with Yalda and partner institutions, executive directors, and other management staff, as well as interviews with those uh, partner media houses. And for the uh, freelance uh, graphic design and the essay competition, that's also um, wrapped up in that first prize. You get the internship opportunity at one of the Yalda partner institutions, and a freelance contract for the graphic design. So those are the two areas where they, I think, differ. The winner of the graphic gets that freelance contract and the essay gets that short internship opportunity. Thank you so much, Patrick, for the clarification on the prizes and the competition categories. Um, there's a question here uh, from Scovia, Scovia from Uganda. Scovia wants to know if those who had submitted earlier can still resubmit their, uh, their piece, uh, given, that, given the clarification that this um, information session has offered them. Um, I would like to get Julia's thought on that. Julia, what do you think? Julia from ITC. Um, sorry, the clarification question is on whether she can still submit her proposal? Yes. Yeah, I mean, of course you can still submit this proposal. Maybe I misunderstand the question. Okay, the question was, um, she had submitted earlier, 
Mm-hmm. But given the clarification that this info session has offered, okay, whether, whether she can resubmit, resubmit, yes. Um, yeah, I think as we are only holding the um, the info session now, and you couldn't previously know, kind of so to say, what you're knowing now, um, I think it should be possible to to resubmit. Um, however, I would please ask you kind of to point out um, that you are resubmitting and maybe also just um, attach your previous application so that it's for us easy to um, yeah, kind of have the overview uh, that this is not two submissions, but only one. But please feel free to, to change and edit your work. Thank you so much, Julia, for that clarification. Um, okay, I want to get... Boya, please unmute and ask your question, please. All right, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Please proceed. All right, lovely. Sorry for the noise. I'm outside. Uh, my name is Walia Milunga. The B is silent. I'm from Zambia. And I have a question regarding the information we're supposed to put in the essay. So the essay requires us to uh outline a deep understanding of the african continental free trade area and its instruments but uh the word instruments hasn't really been defined does it mean the continental free trade area and its legal instruments by that i mean its annexes or the five operational instruments so I wanted some clarification on that area. Uh, thank you so much. Um, Mia, I don't know if Mia can take this. Yes, yes, I, I, I can. Um, okay, go right ahead. Thank you for your question, uh, Boalia. Um, when, when we say instruments, we are referring to the different protocols of the AFCFTA, which are trade, um, the trade protocol in goods, the trade protocol in services, and likewise for investment, intellectual property rights, um, uh, also competition policy, and um, the free movement of people. Uh, if you search on if you google the ASCFTA and it and the different protocols you will be able to find the, the, the some more information on these you don't have to include all of them you can also just choose depending on um which angle you want to 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 highlight in in your essay you can also choose to say to to focus on one of them so for example if you want to choose uh, the AFCFTA um, protocol in trade, in trade and goods, then you can focus on what that will do for African youth. That is completely up to you. Um, I hope that answers your question. Yes, it does. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Um, thank you, Maya. Maya. Um, to check into the chat box to see if we can get other questions um, from the chat box. Okay, um, Amanda, Amanda wants to know how long the animation should be. Uh, how long the animation should be. Um, although, I'm not sure if we touched on this before mm -hmm. now. Uh, I would like to get uh, Patrick's view on that. How long should the animation be, please? Um, Patrick from Afro Zimba. Uh, thanks for that, Chase. I don't think we um, had a specific length for the animation stated, so uh, I might have to defer to the, the Alder Summit to clarify that one for us. Okay, the animation should be between two and three minutes long. Uh, we don't want to have, we don't want to, you know, see a movie at the end of the day, you know, because, <laughs> you know, uh, the, the, the jury members have so much to do. So please, if you are submitting in the animation category, kindly ensure that your submission stays between two and three minutes long. 
Oh, that answers your question, Amanda. Um, still checking the, the chat box to see if we have other questions. Um, yes, the Adam wants to know if the session is being recorded. Yes, it's being recorded. Um, I believe um, the recorded version of the session will be shared with everyone at the end of um, this session. Um, King wants to know if non Yada members can participate in the competition. Yes, King, everyone, in as much as you meet the eligibility requirement, you know, you are free to, to participate in the competition. Okay, um, Mutale uh, wants to know if an essay that's already published elsewhere can qualify for our submission purposes. Um, I would like to defer to I would like to defer to Julia or, or better say Maya, please, if you can just touch on this a bit. Um, she wants to know if an already published essay can still be submitted for the purposes of this competition. Maya, um, over to you, please. Yeah, thank you. Th thanks for the question. Um, I... Um, can, can we still hear? We cannot hear you. It's still difficult to, to understand you. Mm. Okay, can, can you? Is it better now? Yeah. Yes, it is, it is. Okay, strange. Um, but th thank you for the question. Uh, I think, first of all, it depends um, if it's, it's a, an essay that has already been submitted for other competitions. It's important to ask some questions. First of all, did you write it yourself? That is something that's a criteria. You have to write the essay yourself. Secondly, um, does the essay answer the question? Um, I think that is uh, something that's important. So yes, you, if it's your own work, you can definitely reuse parts of it um, and, and maybe you can adapt it a little bit to, to, um, to the requirements we have for this competition. For example, our essay has to be between 1,500 and 2,000 words. So that is something you have to check if your essay is already living up to those requirements. I hope that answers the question. Thank you, Maya. Um, we have another question from Selma. Uh, Selma basically wants to know um, what questions should be answered in the essay? Um, I will also defer to Maya, you know, just a minute or less. She wants to know what question should be answered in the essay. Yes, thank you. Um, the question needs to answer, uh, the essay needs to answer one question, which is the African continental free trade area. What is in it for young Africans? That is the question you have to answer. You can also reread it on the website uh, in case you, you want to uh, remind yourself at a later basis. Thank you, Maya. Um, we'll take two or three more questions uh, before we call it a day. Um, Diana, okay, I, I, I guess Diana's question has been answered in the chat box. Um, checking to again to see if we have other questions. Okay, oh, do we have anyone who wants to ask? Um, question, ask any question directly. Um, uh, perhaps they can ask one more. Okay, please go ahead. 
All right. Uh, when it comes to writing the essay and footnotes, uh, does it mean the footnotes will not be counted in the submission of words? I know that um, Maya have had to answer quite a lot of questions today. Maya would still have to defer to you uh, in terms of uh, whether footnotes are counted as part of the word count. It, it does not count as a, as a word count. Um, if you use word, there's a function where you, and it doesn't count the, the, the footnotes. So it's only the, the words that are part of the essay you have to include in the, in the word count. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Okay, um, can we okay. call? <laughs> Please, if you're not speaking, kindly mute your microphone. Um, I think Faith has a question. Faith, if you can, if you can unmute yourself, please do ask. Or Bashir. What sound is this? Okay, I, I can see that Stanley has a question, right? So Stanley, please do ask your question. Can you unmute yourself and ask your question, please? All right, thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Please go right. My, yes. my question is about uh, what what how is the S is marked out of how many marks? Like, what is the overall rating of the is it out of 100 or like what is the, the what what are the marks for each of the elements that are given accuracy and the credibility of the information that is cited thank you um to quickly answer that i would i would jump right in the essay would be marked based on the eligibility criteria and of course the assessment requirement as well. Uh, the judges internally will determine the, the number of marks to award to a lot to each of the eligibility requirements. And of course the assessment criteria as well. It could be it could be over 100, it could be over 50, it could be over 30. You know what we expect from um, contestant basically is to ensure that your submission meets the assessment criteria. I see that um, King, right? Uh, as King has his hand raised. So King, please, can you unmute yourself and ask your question, please? Oh, yeah, we'll see if you can ask your question. I see you have your hand raised. All right, thank you, yeah, yeah. So my question basically is for those creatives who do spoken word poetry or poetry poems themselves, can they submit audio files as opposed to the text version of their creative content? I would like to defer to Julia. Uh, thank you. No, it should be all um, visible, so to say. Um, yeah, so so we should not only have an audio, but also kind of a visual content. So thank you so much, Julia. So here we see, please, in addition to your audio file submission, can we also ensure that you have a, te a, a, a test-based uh, submission as well? that meets either the infographics, essay, or the animation competition. Uh, okay, Bashir, it seems Bashir has a question. Bashir, I see, can see that your hand is raised. Kindly unmute and ask your question, please.
Okay, uh, Motale, I can see as well that you have your hand raised. Do you have any question to ask? Thank you very much. Uh, love to find out in case of uh, resubmission, what happens to the earlier submitted uh, uh, information? What happens to it? And how do you know that I have resubmitted? Okay, um, thank you for that question. Just as Julia rightly said, when you resubmit for the competition, kindly indicate that your submission is a resubmission and not an original submission. And that would also help those who are assessing submission to not to discountenance your earlier submission and, and only take account of your resubmission. All right, uh, thank you. You're welcome. We have, um, I can't see the name. If you have a question, kindly unmute yourself and ask, please. I can see this, but. Still checking through the chat box to see if you have other questions. Um, hello. Hello. Please can you hear me? Yeah. Please proceed. Yeah. Okay, please. Um Abigail and I'm from I'm from Ghana. I want to ask if there's any specific font size for the essay competition. Um, thank you so much, Abigail, for the question. Um, yes, there's a font size, and it is font size 12 for the essay competition. Although there is no font type or style for the infographics or the animation, but for the essay, it's Arial font size 12. Thank you very so, much. You're welcome. Do we have any other question? Yes, I have one. Please go ahead. Okay, um, I am Faith from Uganda. So my question is, um, is there a remedy for an essay that goes to more than 2,000 words? I would also have to defer to Maya for that, you know. <laughs> Please. Sure, no problem. Thank you, Faith, for, for your question. Is, is it an essay you have already submitted? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Um, the, you, the, one of the criteria of, of the essay is that it has to be between 1,500 and 2,000 words. And your essay will be also value, um, when, we, when the judges have to evaluate it, we have to look at whether or not it looks at the whether or not it um, it lives up to the criteria we have made. So while um, it it's above two thousand words, we will still look at it, but it will you will not get the maximum points because it doesn't live up to the criteria. So I recommend you to stay within the one thousand five hundred and two thousand words if you if you want to win the competition. Okay, so it is already submitted. If, if I, I, my recommendation to you would be to, to resubmit it uh, to, so that you have, so that you live up to the criteria or your essay live up to the criteria. I think um, that will increase your chances to, to win the competition. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So do we have any other questions? Okay, it appears that all questions have been answered. I would like to call on our, our, our partners to give their closing remarks as we round off uh, today's session. Uh, first, I would like to call Patrick from Afrasian Bank. Oh, we have a question from Ademola. Okay, please, Ademola, unmute yourself and ask in less than a minute, please. Uh, 
Okay, so um, my, my question is this. I'm sorry, I'm just coming in, although I've been um, online for a while now, but I quickly had to get to do something. So my question is this. Um, I saw that the competition actually has three uh, parts, the essay, the um, animation, I think, and um, one other part, I really can't remember. So now- uh, uh, Infographics. Uh, infographics, yeah. So are the, um, the competitors, the independent competitors, are they supposed to do all three or they are supposed to pick just one? And um, yeah compete for, for just one uh, part of the whole uh, competition. Okay, um, thank you Ademola for your question. I, um, it is advised that um, contestants stick to one category of the, of the competition. Um, okay. Basically where their strength lies, if their strength lies in the essay part, stick to it, um, the infographics part or the animation part. It's easier that way. But if a contestant believes that he or she can contest, can participate in more than one aspect, fine. Uh, but one thing we want our contestants to know is that um, you are assessed based on your submission. So if your submission is for infographics, it will be assessed based on your infographic submission and nothing and, and none other thing else. Okay, so um, sorry, a, a quick one, a quick one, please. Um, so if someone actually enters for all three, um, all three uh, parts of the competition and they do excellently well in all three, does it mean that um, they get rewarded in three ways or it should just be one? They will be rewarded in three ways because uh, while assessing infographics, because it's not made to submissions in the essay or the admission part of the competition, you know, so if someone feels that is is the best, you know, he has he has all the skills to participate in the three categories, all well and good. And if the person comes out tops you know, on in, in respect of the three aspects of the competition, fine as well. Okay, yeah, uh, I think that will be all. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much, Ademola, for that amazing question. Um, if there are no more questions, I would like to call on um Patrick from Afrezin Bank for his closing remarks, please. Right, thank you very much. <clears throat> um, as Africa and Bank, we would like to commend the ALDA for this initiative. We are very pleased to be working together with them on this, as well as the other partners, and in involving the youth in the AFCFTA and uh, encouraging them to reach out to each other uh, and create material that will spread knowledge and help uh, resolve the information asymmetry that has been plaguing Africa, not just uh, at the level of the youth, but even at the level at, of the larger private sector uh, participants in across several industries. So again, we commend the ALDA for this. Uh, it's a pleasure to be working with you and the partners and to all the competitors, we wish you good luck and uh, go, Godspeed. Thank you very much, Chooks. Thank you so much, Patrick. I would like to call on Maya from UNECA for our closing remarks. Thank you. Uh, I would like to echo the remarks of a Frickson Bank, uh, UNECA. Uh, we are looking very much forward to receiving the, the, the submissions for the competition and to get uh, inspired of how we can communicate better to uh, um, to, to Africa and the world about the AFCFTA. Um, and good luck with the competition. Uh, we look forward to receiving your, your submissions. Thank you so much, Maya. I would like to call on Julia for the ITC's um, closing remarks. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for, for being here, for showing so much interest in the competition. I think that's really um, encouraging and exciting to see that we will look forward to uh, a lot of different submissions. Um, I've heard particular interest on the hashtag competition, so wish you um, all the best of luck. And uh, yeah, very, very interested in reading and also in seeing what you're producing and uh, looking forward yeah, to, to seeing your submissions. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. And for most at Yauda, we are excited 
we are pleased to be working with the partners to ensure that young Africans don't just um, get to understand what the AFCFT entails, but become active participants in ensuring that the AFCFT is implemented across board. Um, thank you so much once again, as we look forward to receiving um, submissions from young Africans and those in diaspora. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Cheers. Thanks a lot, Chooks and everyone.